What's going on everyone, Talon here, and welcome to a uniform review video. Alright, so we have two new uniforms out, and in this one we're going to be looking at Gwenpool's new uniform. Alright, so we have Gwenpool's uniform, which is just Gwenpool. Um, so, there's not much change to the uniform um, in terms of how it looks. Basically, she just takes off her mask. So as you can see here, here's her original, the all new, all different. And then here she is basically just revealing her face. The only thing that's really changed is she does not have the swords on her back. And that's pretty much it. And the shadings have changed a little bit, the shaders on the uniform. Uh, but that is about it in terms of the uniform's look. So the uniform actually changes just one skill. It's going to change her third skill, um, which was the one where she throws the grenades. She jumps back a little bit and throws the grenades. Um, and now it's changing to actually have a three second stun, which is pretty nice. And then the uniform bonus is it enhances the skill of her adventurous passive. Um, that's the passive where she gets that 1% HP heal um, with her, without her uniform. And with her uniform, it buffs it all the way to 5%. So that's actually a really good increase right there. Um, you can kind of compare that to Mantis. Mantis has a 5% HP heal um, for her passive. So that's... Um, pretty powerful actually because Mantis heals up pretty fast with that passive. So let's just take a quick look at the um, skill change real fast here. Alright, so the only one that changed is her third skill, so let's take a look at it. Alright, so she still throws um, Looks like stun grenades, actually, this time, instead of, like, actual explosive grenades. And she does a little jump. And it's definitely a lot better than her previous third skill because it animates a lot faster. Uh, the other one, she would kind of jump back a little bit, and then if you let it animate to throw the grenades, it was a very, very slow animation. Uh, but it was an iframe when she jumped back. So let's go ahead and turn on the AI here and see if the new third skill is also a iframe. So... And yes, it definitely looks like it's an iframe. So she throws those, and as soon as she starts to jump up in the air, as you can see, she is not being targeted by the other uh, robots. So it's still an iframe, so that's very nice. So I do like the change to the third skill. It's very, uh, very good. But the main change that the uniform is going to give her is that increased healing. So to see that increased healing we're going to have to go to an actual game mode so let's go ahead and try her out and see how well that healing actually works for her alright so here we are at today's world boss we have Ebony Ma as today's boss um, we're just going to go ahead and use the holiday special team up for Gwenpool here and um, we're not going to use any strikers and we're just going to go in here and see how much of a difference that healing is with the uniform Alright, so before the uniform, that 1%, you can usually expect to see uh, about 100 to 200 health back per tick. Um, so now let's go ahead and see how much better it gets with the 5%. Alright, so that's, yep, almost 2,000 back now, so that's a big jump. So she's probably going to be really hard to kill now, because um, that is a lot of healing. And this is going to be going on continuously. Um, when she is below 90% health. So it's not like uh, Mantis's where it just goes off on a cooldown. Um, this one's going to be activated continually based on her health. And it is every two seconds, not every one second, so that's why it looks like there's a bit of a delay between the heals. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish off have me maw here if he just would stop iframing me. So as you can see using that third skill there still kicked him out of his uh, meteor skill so it's definitely a full iframe. Alright so here we are at floor 17 of Shadowland and we have a female rally mode here and uh, two of them are going to be combat types so she will have to disadvantage there but that's just going to hurt her um, DPS not really her survivability too much. 
Um, so let's just go ahead and give her a leadership. Uh, here we go. And then let's just throw her in here. And she should probably be extremely hard for, um, for the enemies to kill. As you can see, the stun's going to help to keep the enemies uh, kind of tied up in Shadowlands. Um, even though all of her skills have so many hits on them, she didn't really have much problems keeping enemies stun locked or guard broken. Um, so she doesn't necessarily need it, but it's definitely a welcome addition, so it'll just make it a little easier even. So that was Gwenpool's new uniform in action. Uh, definitely a, a very strong uniform. I really do like this uniform. Um, the increase in recovery rate is very nice. And also that change to the third skill I actually quite like as well. Because it animates a little faster so you can actually get some damage off it. Instead of just canceling it like you used to when she just did the jump back. And you would just cancel into another skill before she even threw the grenades. Uh, this way you do get a little damage out of it as well. Um... So besides that, I think the uniform is not a must-buy or anything like that because Gwenpool without the uniform is still a very strong character, can still do world boss, can still do Shadowlands quite easily. Uh, the uniform is just mainly going to be for more maybe competitive modes because I could see this uniform being really good in Alliance Conquest just because of the healing. And if you put a Invincibility Obelisk on her, she's probably going to be really hard to kill. And she might even be a good counter for Doctor Strange, depending on if she doesn't get one-shotted or not. So, she could be potentially pretty strong in AI-controlled PvP scenarios. But, uh, like I said, I haven't really tested that. That's just kind of where I see this uniform being useful. So, like I said, it's definitely, I wouldn't say, a must-buy or a uh, recommended buy for the average player. Um, if you do like Gwenpool, of course, you pick up the uniform, it's going to make her better. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope it helped in deciding if you were going to pick up the uniform for yourself. Um, I am very happy that I did buy the uniform, so that's a bonus there. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up, so I will catch you guys in the next one.